Hello Gate Aspirants, welcome to Gate Chemical Solution channel. This is two more fluid mechanics question in the year 2020 Gate question paper. Please read the question very carefully and identify what is given and what we have to find out. So if you see the solution for this problem. So if you look at the problem, the water is pumped from tank 1 to tank 2 at the flow rate 0.02 meter cube per second. Both the tanks are open to atmosphere and also given the total frictional head loss that is 1 meter of water. Density of water is given, G is given and the surface liquid velocities are negligible and they have asked us to calculate what is the power supplied by the pump, what is the power supplied by the pump in terms of watts we have to calculate and also given the efficiency of the pump equal to 100%. Okay. So this is what given in the problem. The final working form of Bernoulli's equation after uh, incorporating the pump work and frictional it is the equation so this is the this is this equation represents in terms of the head pressure head kinetic energy head and potential energy head pump head and here frictional head so these three terms are represented in two different locations conditions okay so from this since both the tanks are open to the atmosphere, this pressure and this pressure are same. So, these will be, will be get cancelled. Since surface liquid velocities are negligible, so these two terms also will be get cancelled. From this, neta HP equal to ZB, ZB minus ZA plus HF. So, since the pump is under 100% efficiency, so it will be 1, neta will be 1, HP equal to the difference will be between the two surface of the tanks will be 5 so plus hf equal to 1 so hp equal to 6 meters inter so what is mass flow rate mass flow rate, rate equal to volumetric flow rate into density right so already they have given in the volumetric flow rate by which the pump is listen, uh, pumping the liquid so 0 0.02 into 1000 20 kg per second power equal to mass flow rate into g into pump head so 20 into 9.81 into 6 that equal to 1177.2 okay so mass units are kg per second g units are meter per second square and h units are meter so these terms will be joules so joule per second is the what double one double seven watts is the power required to pump the liquid okay Thank you.